Well, Andrew, they, they made you work hard for that win, but once again, you, you showed that you're a team that can find all sorts of ways to win a football game. Yeah, I, I think sometimes the expression when it's ugly, you, you know, sometimes you've got to do it. But um, yeah, I think we're all in there understanding right now that definitely was ugly, but it's just not where we want to be. And um, I just think, you know, Titans should, you know, 12, 12 men to do what they did, come to play and made us work for it. But yeah, we've got to make some adjustments when different things change. And um, our boys tried hard again, and I'd say, like, um, you know, when you're a coach and you know that, um, you, you, you're proud of it, but you, the, the way we executed and the way we played, just not where we want to be and what we want to do. Johnson, once again, <coughs> got you out of a lot of trouble uh, mm. back into the uh, first half, and then he was involved in the start of the second. Look, it's just pretty extraordinary what he's doing for you this season. Yeah, so, like, they obviously were coming coming hard past the ball defensively, and uh, Sean showed us the way by dumbing and digging in, and he made two two tries in the first half, and then Second half, he was like, right, we've got to change our mindset here. And we kicked early, put him in the corner. Um, we've got to repeat, we've got to try out of it. All just from his mentality about the long game and playing tough and doing it that way through a kick, a long kick and a long chase. And then we got the results from it. So a couple of times we let him off the hook through it, but um, his mentality was like, we're going to grind him here in the second half. And um, yeah, yeah he's, he's playing great footy. Is that what you've brought to the table here, or what you want to see the Warriors do? I mean, I, I know you've probably been asked this before, but playing the long game and winning ugly, like it's it's probably not something you'd associate with the Warriors of recent times. But if you can do it, uh, they're they're a good side. The Titans, it, it's a good sign. Yeah, it's not it's not about the past. It's just it's just about like what wins football games, and we've designed it. What every NRL team, every NRL team would like to do to win games, and we've designed it what suits us. So. Um, we feel like we can do it. Um, it's not going to... But we do it a little bit different to how other teams would and our style's, our style's what suits our boys. But um, I think you've got to be good at that if you want to be a good side. So I don't think I bought it. It's just something that the team wants to be good at and they know it wins in our all game. So we're all, we're all do, trying to do it together. How's some um, chance? Uh, and what did you make of that incident when uh, Mark was saying oh, I'll leave that to the judiciary, mate. Um, yeah, he obviously got hit in the head. He's concussed. Um, he's doing doing okay. Um, he's talking well. It's it's hard to say how they're doing when they get concussed. But as far as where he was when he when he was hit the ground and where he is now, he's really good. So considering, so he's safe and we're happy about that. Are you con concerned? He's had a few of those uh, this year. Is, is it a concern for you? Uh, I'll only be concerned if the medical team are concerned. Um, so um, I think he had one a long time ago like that. So in the years he's had a couple of minor ones, but. Yeah, they won like that really early in the season. So there's been a bit of a gap. But I always ask people, when you get hit like that in the head, like, does it matter who you are? Is that going to happen whether you had one in the past or you haven't? So um, yeah, that, that, that was just one of those ones that I think the same result would have been for any player. You lost the player for slapping. Would you make of that, Andrew? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Like, there was a... Yeah, it's hard, that. Like... <laughs> I hate these ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go there. It's just one. It was just an incident where I thought we were poorly disciplined. Um, to be honest, um, we've got to stick up for ourselves all the time, and, and that, that's important. But um, we've got to do it in the right way, and know when to do it. So we know that. Like no one's making excuses in there. But we we struggled in a couple of those moments. Yeah, you got. Um, I don't think you play another top eight team for the rest of the, the regular season now. Like, what do you want to get out of this last four weeks before the finals? <coughs> I just want to win. Yeah, I want to win as many games as we can. I want to do it in the way we want to do it. Um, and I want to walk off proud of the performance. And if that means we get a win, then that's great. Like, um, tomorrow we'll review it exactly the same way. And um, there'll be lots that we like and there'll be lots we don't. You know, we, didn't, we didn't know what we wanted to do tonight and we didn't adjust. So we've got, we've got to get better at that. And yeah, we're, we're not focused on any bar the Tigers in Hamilton. So uh, yeah, that's, that's our next focus. Good opportunity for your supporters to, and for your team as well to play an extended period at home where you don't have to travel. Yeah, it's great. Any time you get to play in New Zealand, I mean, I'm really grateful for the Tigers taking their home game to New Zealand to repay the Warriors for, for their time overseas. So um, that's really cool. And we get the opportunity to 
to play in Hamilton, which is an hour and a half from Auckland, um, give some new fans a look at our, our team and, and celebrate that. And um, yeah, so like, just any chance to get to play in New Zealand and even take it on the road. And because we've got to remember we're, we're a New Zealand team and we're, we're all over New Zealand. So any opportunity we get, we, we celebrate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.